In mid-March, the Philippines discovered that a reef inside its exclusive economic zone was being surrounded by a large number of Chinese fishing vessels. The feature in question was Whitson Reef. The Philippines authorities later determined that the vessels were part of the Chinese maritime militia. The situation was urgent as there was legitimate concern that China is trying to gobble up a new feature in the disputed South China Sea. The repercussion could be massive since the reef could be quickly turned into a military outpost. But China has not been able to get its way, at least during this instance. As per the Philippine Secretary of Foreign Affairs, only a handful of Chinese militia vessels remained at Whitson Reef currently. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the U.S. and Philippines have thwarted the Chinese attempt to capture Whitson Reef. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. China claims almost 90% of the South China Sea through its so-called Nine-Dash Line map. It says that it has indisputable sovereignty over the sea. Several countries, which include Vietnam, the Philippines, Malaysia, Brunei, and Taiwan have disputed Chinese assertions and have overlapping claims of their own. China has been pressing the Philippines in the last few years. Sometime back, the armed forces of the Philippines confirmed that it had monitored 275 individual Chinese vessels swarming near Thetu. Manila even filed protests with Beijing over their presence. As pointed out by several experts, this kind of undertaking by the militia is part of the Chinese salami slicing strategy. The strategy aims for the slow accumulation of small changes. China's strategy relies on low intensity but constant and simultaneous small provocations at multiple pressure points. This serves to stretch thin the capabilities of smaller nations, like the Philippines and Vietnam, to respond while limiting the risk of escalation to a manageable level. China has often used the People's Armed Forces Maritime Militia to scare away fishing boats from smaller nations as well as impose de facto control. The People's Armed Forces Maritime Militia is essentially an extension of the People's Liberation Army Navy. Article 36 of the China Military Service Law of 1984, revised in 1998, empowers the militia to undertake the duties related to preparations against war, defend the frontiers and maintain public order and be always ready to join the armed forces to take part in war, resist aggression, and defend the motherland. China's 2013 Defense White Paper enhanced the maritime militia's role in asserting sovereignty and backing up military operations. Though Beijing has downplayed the role of this organization, over the years it's been very active and has carried out corrosive acts on several occasions. Viewers may note that China employs the maritime militia, composed of covert fishing trawlers, to work in conjunction with the Chinese Coast Guard and Navy. Whitsun Reef is a boomerang-shaped reef located 200 miles or about 321 kilometers west of the Philippines in the South China Sea. The Chinese first showed up around Whitsun Reef in December. Slowly, the number of Chinese vessels increased, and they kept anchoring adjacent to each other, forming a tight group. As per reports, by March there were around 220 Chinese boats near the reef. 
The Chinese intention became clear to both Washington and Manila. China was trying to execute yet another land grab. If China succeeded, it would provide them another tactical foothold in the South China Sea and would help strengthen their position. The U.S. and the Philippines got their act together. The U.S. Navy instructed warships already in the area to make their move. The USS Theodore Roosevelt supercarrier CVN-71 and USS Macon Island LHD-8 WASP-class amphibious assault ship joined up in early April and combined their air wings and their escorting cruisers, destroyers and submarines. Also, the Biden administration's man responsible for affairs in Asia, Kurt Campbell, reached over to the Philippines and coordinated a joint stand. The Philippines sent four warships towards Whitson Reef, which included Manila's two brand-new missile corvettes, Jose Rizal and Antonio Luna. A U.S. State Department statement indicated that the use of force was on the table. It stated, an armed attack against the Philippines' armed forces, public vessels, or aircraft in the Pacific, including in the South China Sea, will trigger our obligations under the Mutual Defense Treaty. The tactical move and verbal warning made China retreat, and there's negligible Chinese presence in the vicinity of Whitson Reef now. The United States and the Philippines reacted in a timely fashion to forcefully protect Whitson Reef. China's blinked. But this is not the first or the last Chinese action, and the Philippines needs to be vigilant. There's a need for the country to expand its capabilities, and Manila is already on it. The Philippine Navy is hiring maritime militia forces. The idea is to deploy them for patrol and protect its fishermen in the South China Sea from intruding Chinese forces. Philippine Navy Chief Vice Admiral Giovanni Carlo Bacordo told reporters recently that it's planning to send over 200 militiamen to the disputed waters. As per the plan, one contingent is to watch the islands occupied by the Philippines in the Spratly Archipelago, also known as Nansha Islands in Chinese, and another contingent to secure Scarborough Shoal, Huangyan Island in Chinese. Bacordo said at the hearing, Aside from data gathering, they'll also be protecting our fishermen as they go fishing in our exclusive economic zone. Bacordo further added, These are our counterparts for Chinese maritime militia. The time has come for the United States and the Philippines to bury their bilateral issues and work together to face the larger challenge. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.